Hey YouTube, it's Mr. North 14 and today we are doing a review on the Chef IQ Smart Pressure Cooker. Now, what is the claim to fame to the Chef IQ Smart Pressure Cooker? The claim to fame is, is this a, it hooks up to the internet. It's a pressure cooker that hooks up to the internet. It has a built-in scale and it has an app that comes with it that allows you to cook recipes and interact with your pressure cooker at the same time to finish those recipes okay so that's the claim to fame that's how it's supposed to be smart and let me tell you after using it for a couple of days I agree that this is one of the best pressure cookers on the market I would only have one complaint and I'll show you that when I go over the actual app because the app is the one where the menus with the recipes are in and that you use to interact with this uh, pressure cooker it's just not enough of those recipes you know they're so they're trying to be so bon appetit and have these bon appetit type recipes instead of just giving people what they want to eat you know like uh, fried rice or something like that or one pot uh, pressure cooker meal you know they're too busy trying to sprinkle parsley on food and make it bon appetit so if you guys are listening, you know, it's good. You got the Bon Appetit meals. It's really fancy. It's really nice. But sometimes people just want something that they can eat, you know. So get a fried, fried rice recipe or something like that out. And, and, and more one pot, you know, meals that people actually eat. And, you know, you can Bon Appetit those and make them all fancy. But that was my only gripe. Other than that, I love this pressure cooker because it's like nothing I have ever used before as far as a kitchen appliance that is hooked up to the internet okay so let's check this out for instance I'm on pressure cooker mode now this is an LED screen so I can push saute I can say what you got to steam this device is even a slow cooker okay and then you can put your favorite recipes in here and then if you hit more you can ferment and you can keep keep warm and it'll show a time limit and you can increase the time limit for like how long you want things to stay warm you can make it longer if you want an hour but 30 minutes is fine for me you can also clean it and sanitize it It'll tell you, you know, it's going to 10 minutes, it's going to pressure cook on high. It's going to have a quick release and it's going to sanitize your uh, pressure cooker. Now, if you go in the settings here, we're going to see that this is a Wi-Fi connected device. It's also a, it's also a weighted scale. This is America, so you know we use ounces and pounds and all that. You can change the sound of it. You can change the brightness. You can put the time in here so really all you can do is just put like central time and if you want to do daylight savings time but since it's hooked up to the internet it has the time you don't got to worry about that you just need to put in the time zone then you put in the general general is just going to give you information about what model you have it's going to tell you about your firmware update you know how you can update the firmware you can reset your Wi-Fi or if you run into any issues with your device you can factory reset it so let's say if your scale is not working correctly just factory reset it and then get it back to working and back hooked up to your network and everything should be fine okay so now let's go back to pressure cooker okay so now pressure cooker you see all these things you have to choose from First, you could just use it like a regular pressure cooker and just put in manual. Okay? Say you got something you want to cook for 15 minutes. If you want to kick longer, you just go up here, highlight it, and change it. Just that simple. Hit it again. You want it on low pressure, you do that. But that's if you have something manual and you just want to use it like a manual pressure cooker. Let's say, hey, you want to eat some eggs okay go here down the eggs go in the eggs do you want it hard boiled medium boiled or soft boiled okay 
So hard boil, medium boil, soft boil. Which one do you want? Mm, let's go to soft. Okay, it's going to ask you how many eggs you have. Say so we got six. It's going to do a calculation. It's saying the cook time is two minutes. Pressure level is low. We'll keep it warm for you if you don't feel like getting it just then. And the pressure release will be quick. You hit continue. Now it's going to tell you you need two cups cups of water for those six eggs. Okay, and that's the scale working there. And that's me shaking the scale. <laughs> but you can also zero the scale out just like that and then you can weigh with the water you can just pour water into it and it'll let you know when you get to two cups okay so you don't need to pre you know do your water you can just put it in a cup pour it in there and it will do the rest and that is one of the features that is so awesome about this okay let's say we want to cook some pasta okay we want to do some long grain not broken okay we can either use the scale or we can say okay I'm gonna use a box or I'm gonna use a half a box with its eight, eight ounces but if you don't know how much it is use the scale once you use the scale it's going to tell you how much water you're going to need so let's say we're not going to use the scale we're going to use a half a box eight ounces it's going to calculate voila cook time four minutes and it's just going to tell us all the things we need Voila, we hit continue, and it's going to tell us that we need four cups of 32 ounce uh, fluid ounces. We just go up to the scale, zero it out, and then start adding the water, people. That simple. That simple. Go back here. So we then did eggs, we then did pasta. Let's just say you want to do grains. Okay. What do you have there? Couscous. <laughs> you got wheat and barley. Let's try wheat and uh, bear barley berries here. You got one cup. Say so, no. Let's say we got two cups. It's gonna calculate. Tell us how long it's gonna take to cook. We hit continue, and then we get, it tells us we need three cups of water for that amount. Okay, just that simple. That's what I'm telling you. This thing tells you how to cook. You basically just put in the ingredients and it tells you how to cook. Let's say you want to go to saute mode. Look at that. Chicken. Is that, do you got breasts, bone in thighs, or ground chicken? You know, let's say we got a breast. Is it thick or thin? Let's say it's thin. It's going to calculate. Again, we hit continue. It's going to tell us. Ensure there is a lid. Do not use lid. Okay. Ensure there is food or oil butter. So it's basically saying make sure you pour oil or butter in there because you're going to saute it. Okay. It's saying hey, don't use the lid. Put the lid up. So I mean, it's basically walking you through everything you need to do. It's very sophisticated. I mean, I really like how easy it is to work. But like I said, the best feature is the app. So hold on, I'll be right back to show you the app. Okay, YouTube, we're back. Now we're going to take a look at the app. Now, the only thing different with from the app that is different from the pressure cooker itself, as you can see, the pressure cooker has an LED screen. The app is basically so that you can actually see videos of the recipes being made step by step so you're basically getting a visual representation of what you need to do to create a recipe like this beef chili recipe okay and it's going to tell you when to add the oil when to add the salt when to add the pepper when to add the oil and it's going to take you through it step by step with a, vi a visual representation and we'll get into that in just a minute so let's first look at the search feature now, what's nice about the search feature of the app is it's going to let you do things by like tags. So let's say if you're on a diet and you want something kosher or you want something vegan, you can just hit one of these tabs and it'll tell you how many meals that are in the system on the app. So there's 35 meals that are vegan on this app for you to use. Or you can say, OK, I don't want to cook anything 
difficult today. It even do it by difficulty. So you can hit here and say, hey, what are the really easy recipes to, to, to make? It's 26 of them. These are the 26 that they have on here that are they say are really easy to make. And you can jump right into using your Chef IQ Smart Pressure Cooker. So let's go back here. What's to the right here is the notifications. Now notifications will tell you if anything is done. So one of the first meals I did was just make some brown rice two days ago. You know, just to get a feel for it. And I've made brown rice before and you always wonder about the time and how long it's going to take and things like that and how much water you're going to need. This device will tell you how much water. It will tell you how much time it will take to cook. It will even put in your measurements where you don't even have to measure anything. You can just throw in some rice and it'll tell you if it's one or two cups and it'll tell you how much water you need. And it'll tell you how long it takes to cook. That is the marvel of this this uh, device here. Okay, so let's get back here and let's focus on the actual app. So that's notifications, uh, featured recipe here. So let's go to the featured recipe. Okay, and if we wanted to make this recipe, the first thing we would need to do is say if we just wanted to watch the video of the actual chef creating it, we could hit play and watch that. But let's say, hey, we think we bad. We ready to go. We can hit start guided cooking. First thing it's going to show us is make sure that you have all your ingredients prepped. Okay? It says, get all that together. I'm going to tell it, hey, we're done. We're ready. Okay? I got all my ingredients prepped. So now it's going to say, okay, select your smart cooker. So I'm going in here to select. There it goes right there. I selected my smart cooker. As you can see, the pressure cooker is in line. It's synced up via Wi-Fi to it. And it says the first step is to add cooking oil. So we're going to add cooking oil. And then we're going to hit next. Okay. Then it's going to say start it because we just added cooking oil. And so that means we want to saute something. So as you can see, that start menu is lighting up there telling us, hey, let's get ready to go. So like I said, it's going to walk you step by step through each and every recipe. So let's end that because we got a feel for it. Let's get out of there. Okay. And that's how easy it is. You see how your device, your app interacts with the pressure cooker, the smart Chef IQ pressure cooker. Okay. So let's just say, hey, we, we, we don't want to use it as a smart IQ. We just want to use the calculator function. Remember I showed you that with the uh, pressure cooker? You could basically go in and say, hey, I want to cook some eggs. I want them hard boiled. I'm cooking one to six eggs and I want to pressure cook it. And it's going to calculate and voila, it's going to tell you how many cups of water you need and how long it's going to take. Ten minutes. And you don't even need a scale because it's a scale built in. So you would just hit run pressure cooker and then it'll tell you add ingredients. You would add probably you just throw in some rice. It'll tell you how much the rice weigh. Then it'll tell you, you know, it'll tell you add the water and stuff like that. And then you get to cooking here. It just does it. Simply, it just says add two and a half cups of water, uh, quick release on the pressure cook, cook time 10 minutes, and then you hit run. And let's say after you do that, you do that, you say, hey, this is a recipe I want to keep. So you hit save to favorites and it'll save it to favorites so it's easier to find the next time. You don't have to put in any special code or anything like that. You can just get to going. OK, so let's hit run. See how the cooker is initiated, the uh, pressure cooker, but we're not going to do that now. We're going to get out of there and we are going to go back to the screen again. And remember I told you about those favorites. That's the next button on there and you just go. That's your smart cooker and then it's going to tell you below what meals you told it to save. And these are the recipes that I said, hey, I want to try or I've tried and I like. And so you can put them in save so that they're easier to find. Okay. Then you can go here to more. 
in the app and oh, go to more in the app and here you can just make changes to settings you can check your cooking history my appliance you can check your appliance say hey that's the actual cooker that's connected to your app you can find out about the app you can find out what's new and any updates app appearance you can set notifications on or off you can go to the question answer section if you have anything that you want to know about it you know so as you can see the app is really intuitive it's really fun I mean I've had a great time with this pressure cooker this chef IQ smart pressure cooker okay I would suggest you folks go out and get this and really enjoy cooking with a pressure cooker again you know it's it's between this and the instapot we all know the instapot winning but i think if they keep adding great recipes to this stuff that's less bon appetit but more one pot and things like that for people just to jump in and really have fun with it and actually see the smartness of the scale and being able just to add ingredients and have the device tell you how much water and how much time so this is my review of the actual unit and how the app works with the pressure cooker itself so i hope you enjoyed this i'm going to be doing some meals later this is mr north 14 peace out